let's discuss the problem that we have uh, of a cross section concrete corner column that is loaded uniformly in a, uh, in a compression as for figure 4 this is our figure 4 this is our figure 4 okay and what else the circular pipe passes the circular pipe trees cut out uh, has a diameter of two five zero mi millimeters runs the height of the column determine the average compression stress c uh, in the concrete if the load is equals to this so we know that stress is equal to force over area. So we have force here of which is one four point five and the only thing that you need to do is just to find oh I just mixed them up but you know what I meant. The force is on top. We have force here, 14.5. We only need area. So let's try to work on the area. First, to work on the area, first you need to look at this area. Right? It's a, it's a rectangle. So area is going to equal to this part that I just highlighted, which is going to be 500. 500 uh, by 600 okay but uh, uh, yes and then let's look at another chunk that really interests us let's look at the easy ones first this chunk again this chunk is going to be 500 again by They said 420, it's going to be 600. Okay. Let's look at another chunk again. This chunk. Let's assume, or let's pretend like all these holes that you see, they're not there. It would have been a 600 by 600 here by. 600 it should have been a 600 by 600 okay by 600 now i have to minus all the cutouts i'm subtracting the cutout the first cutout i have is going to be this one of which is going to be pi r square uh, is pi r square where r is the radius Half of this, it's 125. It's going to be 125 squared. And we have another cutout to this. If you can notice, there's some sort of a triangle here. You have to subtract it again. It's going to be half. Base is going to be 200 times height. Height is also 200. Let me just say 200 squared. And if you just work very good with your calculator, accurate, you'll just get an answer like mine, 890, 890.912.6148. Okay, and if you've not, you've been noticing, I always say I, I hate working with millimeters. But here I've been time sensing millimeters, okay? So this to convert this I should have said times ten negative three and ten times negative three. These negative three if I times them it would have added the exponent, I'll end up having a conversion of ten times ten negative six. Okay. Of which is the same and the same all over here. So I could just come here. 
multiply by 10 negative 6 of which I missed that convention lately and then if I do that on my calculator 10 times power negative 6 was when I keep my area in meters I'm going to get 0 0.89 the same thing 0 0.9 uh, now with nothing it's, now it is in meters then I have area I can put just there and I'll be done and then my force is going to be okay stress is equals to force over area so force was given there to be 14.5 but there is mega here you know mega times 10 power 6 if I'm not mistaken all over the area is going to be my answer which is 0 0.8 um, 9091 on and on I advise that you always put your answers as they are because you will use some values if, if you run off during the problem so you can punch this in your calculator again okay? now I have my answer to be equal to 162745445 0.83 pascals you know that for net they always want to like move the comma it's okay you can move from one two three four five six six is okay and if they use six they're going yeah and they they put a confusion and everything but i'm done my work in and here i'm not in net my work and here this is my stress okay and please don't forget to subscribe like share the video and comment if you wanna you want us to do a video on something maybe some topic maybe some problem you want us to do thank you